Welcome back to another video. Here's what's coming up today. Well, here I'm now more the greener tins of Ireland, I suppose. Spreading fertilizer by hand, huh? So that's another less sheep in it to worry about, I suppose. Morning the 16th of June, in the after starting making light rain. We must have started early this morning. Nice soft rain. Oh yeah, I'm yeah, but uh, <laughs> you, you'll be turned upside down most is there all uh, a lot of traffic on the road today. The National Fibre Broadband are setting up. What have you done, boys? The hell with you, Chuck. Why wouldn't that send us in? Welcome back to another video. We're here now in one of the greenest hills in Ireland, I suppose. We're going to up our Kagarvan village. Nice soft weather now for many more in the mountain. Grass grows well down late in the summer. So that's another less sheep in it to worry about, I suppose. Um, so two days ago, I was in this field, and these the sheep was fine. Um, it's amazing how quick the flies, the maggots, crows, and the magpies can make a shark work or something. Literally, what's left is bones and wool skin. So yeah, thick in there. That's fair me, I suppose, though. There's going to be dead stock where you have life stock in there. Fick it, though. This morning, the 16th of June, in the after starting making light rain. We must have started early this morning. Nice, soft rain. So that'll improve things. Grass will start to grow again. Did you start praying like you said last I day? You might. No, I didn't pray for it at all, but it came in here without any prayer. Will it, will it grow grass? It should. It should help to grow the grass now, the ground is warm. That's his grand soft rain, not heavy rain. Will you do run off the ground, just soft rain. Will you do a dance? I won't dance for that at all. So I ordered four to an pastor's ward. That's after landing now. Also, today as well, in the next few days, we're just doing more lambs for uh, cobalt us. Um, but yeah, we're just tipping away at this as well, making sure. They're thriving and everything's all right with their feet and everything. Oh, get up, lads, get up. Jeez, he's all dirt now. A lot of traffic on the road today. The National Fibre Broadband are setting up. They're putting up all the wires up along the along the road here so we're gonna have very fast wifey here in the future so that's mighty was there a longer drought than this before yeah I heard two people talking in quilt shop in Kilgarvan yesterday um, Martin Taylor with she said he helped from an old man but there was a way of dryer here in 1922 the river rooked in nearly went dry it was only barely moving at all that was 1922 and I had more people know researched it Saying it was the 1921 as well, massive dry years. Well, and what about climate change? There was hardly climate change back then and all this stuff, was there? It mustn't be, I don't know. We're going up now, spreading fertilizer on the hill. The soft rain will drive it all through the ground. So, like he says, this ideal soft rain is a perfect time to spread fertilizer in the hill where we spread every year. And Today is supposed to clear up as well, a bit sunny, so ideal growing conditions as well. So we'll head up there now in a minute. So what we're going to do now is we're going up the mountain. The father is behind me here with the quad and the spreader. So we're going spreading fertilizer in one of our mountains. So my father has been spreading fertilizer in the summer here with years and it's a massive help at in the autumn and especially in, in early uh, winter after the sheep have been to the ram um, to keep the condition up as well especially coming up to the springtime so it makes a big difference there's probably around 70 or 80 acres I go spreading fertilizer here and the reclaimed part of the mountain which is a good piece of the mountain it's all green just fairly level so I spread the pastures in it every year in the summer for how long? Maybe a great grass to have for the winter then for a good bit. How long have you been doing it? Oh, I've been doing it since 
20, 30 years, 30 years I'd say. Was it always good ground? Well, it was always good ground, yeah, but we've drained it and we got a grant made in, made the road up through it. Well, rushes? It was always good. Is there rushes here? There was, but we sprayed them. They're gone. We go, we keep at them, like. Is there yaws and lambs here now on the hill? Yeah, feeds a lot of sheep in the summer. He's off! It is a good sign of the hill when you can drive the jeep into the middle of it. I just, I just threw the drone up, but it, it's a fairly, it's a big enough mountain, but it's fairly, it's fairly even, even though it is high, quite elevated. The ground itself is smooth enough, but like it's, there's not much rocky ground here. Um, but he's been spreading here now with years, my father. And it really has paid off for us because we have great grass for the end of the year. There's a fine view from here as you can see all around us. That's our forestry. That's our forestry below to the right there. There's 120 acres there. And my father set back in 2008. There was good premiums back then. And yeah, that hill would have been not great hill, but yeah, he's sitting there. And to the left, there's also a forestry, a neighbor's forestry of 40 acres. So we've lots of deer around. Like there's deer everywhere and they're eating us out of house and home. Like a couple of deer there would eat as much as a cow. So it is tough enough. It is tough enough to grow grass besides the deer, the deer eating it. Also as well here as you can see from the drone behind us we have windmills in the back of our mountain. Um, they were, they're probably up there with I suppose over five years now easily more I suppose eight years and like we have no issue with them they're, they're, there's no houses back there but it's probably one of the biggest wind farms in Ireland Groose Mount Groose Mount wind farm he's getting brave this is probably the roughest part of the of the hill now Now he's going well, boys. It's the stuff. So, we've over half it done there now. We're halfway there. Piece of rough ground there. Maybe too high and sloping. Might be dangerous, might turn over. I have to spend some off in my head. What? I'm ready for that. So, as you can see here, it's not every mountain that you could drive a Jeep across. So it's very handy. I can drive the jeep across the hill here and I can follow my father around with the fertilizer and top him up instead of him uh, going all the way back home to the farm. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you for the next one. Ah. Cheers. What have you done, boys? The hell with you, Joe. Why bring that sensor? Come on. Oh.